chances are, you know what it's like to receive an important phone call when you're in an inconvenient location, such as in the bathroom or after you've taken a shower. Just imagine it, you're pressing your phone against your soaked ear and struggling to hear the person on the other line as you fumble awkwardly with your socks and hope your towel stays tight round your waist. This can be even more stressful when you're in a public place, such as a pool or gym. You can be sure there are a few wandering ears that'll be listening to your every word. In the case of the story below, a man's phone rang while he was wrapping up at the end gym, and eavesdroppers were treated to a conversation that left them stunned. We all like to bring our phones with us wherever we go, to the grocery store, to lunch, and even to the gym. Of course, we can't always ensure privacy. One day, a phone started ringing in the men's locker room at a particular gym. It went on for a while, thoroughly annoying the other guys in the locker room, until a man hopped out of the shower. Wrapping a towel around his waist, he rushed to answer it. Hello? The man asked, holding the phone with his wet hand. The other gym goers ears started to perk up at the sound of the man's conversation. Naturally, their curiosity got the better of them. They were in a cramped locker room, after all. The volume on the phone was turned up, so everyone in the locker room was easily able to hear the woman's voice on the other end of the line. Hey babe, it's me. She sounded enthusiastic about something, but the guys in the locker room didn't know exactly why. Not yet, at least. She went on, I'm doing some shopping and I found this beautiful leather coat for only $1,500. You know the one I showed you the other week? It's such a great deal. Do you think I can get it? I want it so badly. She pleaded. If you like it, then go ahead. The man replied as he pulled on one of his socks while balancing the phone against his shoulder and ear. The woman let out an elated squeal. Also, she continued, I went by the car dealership to look at that Mercedes we've been talking about. We should buy it, right? How much is it? The man inquired. The woman hesitated, then said, it's $90,000. The man didn't pause for a second. Go ahead, he said as he pulled on his slacks. But make sure it has all of the extras. At that point, everyone in the room couldn't help but stare. After that, she was over the moon with excitement. The guys in the locker room could practically hear her jumping on the other end. I also went to the realtors, she rattled on. Remember that beach house that got snatched away from us last year? It's listed again. For 1.2 million dollars. Well, go in with 1 million dollars. The man said as he started to fasten the buttons on his shirt. That should be enough. But if they won't budge, go ahead and offer the one dollar and twenty cents. It's worth it, he added. Oh, I love you, honey. The woman squealed on the other end of the phone. I love you, too, the man replied as he ended the call with a smile on his face. By that time, the whole locker room was looking at the man with their jaws on the floor. Who was this guy? And how could he afford so much? Feeling the eyes of the other fellows on his back, the man slowly turned around. He held the phone toward them and asked, anyone know whose phone this is? No one in the locker room could believe what they just heard. Oh, boy. Some rich guy is in for a rude awakening whenever he gets home. At least everyone in the locker room had a huge laugh that day.